Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Astroneer, where in the previous episode we went on a bit of an expedition over in that direction. We found a cave and we got a whole bunch of materials which we can now have a mess about with and try and use to, uh, to... Oh, hello. Well, this has gone weird. This is something that I have, I've seen the odd time. Your, your bag just goes weird, your backpack, and everything just starts floating. I wonder if that gives you extra bag slots. I should have messed with that, but oh well. It's all fixed now, everything is fine. But yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff uh, that we can start to try and work on. We've got some ores that we can smelt. I think we can make a smelter? It uses compound. I think we have enough compound handy, maybe? Is that some over there? Everything's in a bit of a mess. I keep accidentally chucking things everywhere, so it's all over the place. Um, there's been a bit of a gap between the last episode and this one, and I've had a bit of time to learn a bit more about what I'm doing. What's down here? We've got some aluminium here. Don't even remember getting that, but that's here. It's just a load of organics, isn't it? Okay, so one of the things I have learned is how to deal with the, the poison things down in the cave. Basically, I did the opposite of what I was supposed to do. Let me just... I'm just going to dump all this stuff out of my bag for now. I want to go down there and just get the materials back, because... There's so much stuff that we had on us at the time. Loads of, like, copper ore and stuff. And we definitely need copper for what we're going to be doing. Actually, somebody suggested that filters were good for poison, but I think then someone else suggested that they weren't, so... Getting mixed answers there. There we, there we go, filters. I don't know if we have enough compound, actually. We've only got, like, two. I would like to keep this bit that I've got. So I'll just try keeping my distance, I guess. What is it? Oh, that's showing what's on the gun, I see. Because I was thinking that was, like, power before, but that's, like... I guess the, the biggest thing that the gun nearly has a new unit of or something. I don't know if, like, it gets overwritten if you start picking up something else or not. I think it doesn't, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, let's put that away. And we are going to venture down into the dreaded cave. The cave that keeps murdering us. But I think this time we might do a little bit better. Steady on. With the sliding. Okay, we oh, just, just when I thought we were okay, we started setting off. We just go in a circle and we'll be fine. Alright, let's get the, uh, the terrain tool out. So they're currently hidden under some, uh, some earth. So let's just... Mine this away as much as we can with the range we have. Easy does it. Right, can I just mine under him? There we go, that's one dead. Okay, two more to go. Another one dead. One more. Where is he? Somewhere in here. We're getting stuff as well. I guess this sat on some power, maybe. Come on. Oh, he's still deploying the poison. No. Stay away. I'm going to jump over the poison. I'm going to outrun it. Why won't you die? Damn it. Surely it's free by now. Come on. Ow. This one isn't dying. Also, I couldn't move. I think I got it. I think they're all dead. They're still sort of there. Still some poison. There we go, it's gone. Okay, I think we're good. I think we killed them. Let's harvest this. I think we're getting a little bit low on oxygen. Oh, but as we observed before, there's more stuff around here. But as we observed before, there is some oxygen up here, so I'm just going to grab this. And apparently there's some hydrazine here. Get all of this. Is that everything? Looks like it. Grab the power as well. It'll speed things up. There we go. Okay. These things are all dead. We've got some researchy stuff we're able to grab from them. Is my backpack still here or has it like despawned? It may have despawned. I'm not seeing it and it was right around here. Oh, it might be gone. Might only stay for a certain amount of time. We had so much stuff as well. We had like loads of copper ore and all sorts of good things. But alas, it seems it is all lost. But now, for future reference, we have a way of dealing with these creatures. That's pretty good. Yeah, these caves keep going, but now now I, now I feel a lot more comfortable in them, now that I know how to deal with these things. Let's grab this power here. Don't really need it. We've got loads of it, but I guess we can take it back home and store it for later. Make a bit of a ramp up here. Oh, there's some stuff. Is that stuff alive? 
Looks like it is. Well, no, it isn't. The unit explodes and releases poison when you do that. Is there more stuff down there? Oh, there, there we go. It's a bit of a of a research thing. Let's just get these all out of here. I don't think there's any copper left. We managed. We made sure to harvest as much as we possibly could before we died and lost it all. There's plenty more around, though. There's some stuff over there. More evil things. But yeah, apparently the solution is always just dig stuff up and it'll die. And you'll get cool things in return. So that's good. Especially good because all these things do want to kill me, I believe. I think these all explode to some degree or another. Grab some of this stuff. Oh, I think we're, we're fully... Our backpack's completely full of power. Let's, let's take this back. Okay. Let's grab you. And we'll run back up to the surface. We're running out of our oxygen again. I guess we'll go deposit this power. Oh, is there a bit of a storm going on? This looks like a storm. Um. Maybe. Maybe it's just night time, or maybe the storm's just passed. Is there a cloud around? No, but it looks like the sun has just risen. Excellent. Okay, let's go stick this on the research thing. I think we actually already have something there. Yeah, we do, but whatever. Getting lots of research done. It, it, put it on the right thing. I, I can't get the right angle from here. There we go. I press the button. Grab this while we're at it. Stick it there. What do we get? We get some lithium. Okay. Stick that on there. Put this on. Except it's going to take some. It's, it's going to take a lot of time to get power because we don't even have this connected right now. Apparently, this can go anywhere. Because the uh, generator can go anywhere. Yeah, that works. Uh, do we have any organics around? Because I don't think there's much use for that apart from burning. Let's go stick that on the generator. Speed things up a bit. It's not really that urgent, but I, I want to see. I want to get more sciencey stuff. What is lithium for? Do we use that in our crafting? I have no idea. Oh, we can also speed things up a little bit more if we uh, grab some of this and stick it on. Maybe. Oh, the power's already full. Okay. Do the science. Give us the cool technologies or the cool items. It's a technology and it's... A truck. Well, that sounds good. Okay, yeah, that's some, some rovery technology that you can get. Yeah, we sort of wasted our power generating stuff there because we don't have any more sciencey things to do. Right, we've got a bunch of materials. Let's start making use of them. Unfortunately, I don't think we have much in the way of copper in the end, because that is... it seems to be the most important metal. Right, uh, we've got loads of resin. Handy. Let's just, uh... Just gonna dump all this... this magic anti-grav power here. Oops. Get rid of all of that. We shouldn't need any particularly soon. Right, resin. Oh, yeah, I've, what, what is it? Is it shift? If I shift-click stuff, it just goes into my backpack, which is super useful. Let's grab all the resin, because we'll do a bit more base building. We'll extend this out a bit more. I think I'm probably safe to start using these things here for stuff. I don't think they've glitched that much. I think just by the fact that they exist, they will function. Maybe there'll be issues with the power connection between these two things, though. That's my worry. It looks like the connection's fine. In fact, oh, I'm even tethered to it now. Maybe they've fixed that. Or maybe it's because this tether is now connecting to both of these, so it's bridging the gap. Or I don't know. Right, so two compound will get us a smelter. Two copper will get us a printer, so I guess what we want to do is make a smelter with the compound that we have and then use that to smelt all of the various ores that we have, and that should, I guess, work. Do we have any compound on us at the moment? No. Oh, th there's a bit of compound down there hiding in the crafty bit, which goes straight back into it if I try and move it. There should be one more piece of compound somewhere, right? Is that it? That is it. And then we go... Oh yeah, we do have copper ore, because we mined some of that as well as the aluminium ore while we were out on a little expedition. Excellent. Right. Hop back over here. I think we could make that one into a smelter. I don't know if it really matters that much. We'll make, we'll make this one back here into a smelter and then maybe the one at the front can be a printer. Right, smelter and then if I just click yeah, it automatically puts the compound in. Press the button and we generate ourselves a smelter. Excellent. Right. Um, there's a port in the top of it, and then four ports here. I think this is where you put the stuff to smelt, so let's just try sticking all this malachite in. Oops. 
some of the laterite. I imagine this won't make it into some weird alloy. Now, what what do I do from here? I don't see a button. These ones got symbols at the top of them, these different items. Must be just like the classification of the objects, because there's the red wedges above all the power base things, I think. I think that's just how they always are. Slowly charging. Maybe once it's charged we'll get the button, because I think that's how the research thing works. But what is this for? Is this just like a power generation port? Let me just try, like, does this... Does it... Oh. No, it doesn't let me put this in the top... Oh, no, it, it does. It does. With a little bit of fiddling. Come on. It, yep. You can do it. It's gone green. Seems like a good sign. We've got these things here showing the power flow, so... I guess it... Well, it makes sense that this is still drawing power. So I guess if this... If we do some more research and the power starts flowing the other way, that suggests it's being generated in this module as well. But maybe this bit here is pointless, I don't know. Right, it looks like I, I can press the button. Oops, no, that's me. There. Oh, it's it's dumped. What? Oh, that's some sort of weird output thing. I'm not supposed to put anything in there. That was a separate thing entirely. It's been a derp. But we now have some copper there. There we go. Copper, copper. Aluminium copper. Fantastic. Okay, uh, we'll, I guess we'll grab it all. Or what we can. I think we'll run out of room. A backpack full. Can we... There we go. Grab the rest of it. So that's enough copper to be making a printer. Let's get some more aluminium as well. Oops, steady. Uh, no power is being generated because it is night time. Except this is still here. Maybe this needs to be specifically put here. Nope, I thought this turned into power for the thing. Stick it here or something? I want to power it. Let me power it. Damn it. Okay. I guess we wait till... Uh, Maybe if I power this generator, we've still got some organics over there. Can't grab it from this far. There we go. Stick that in the generator. Will the power then flow? There we go. That's charging it, though I don't know if that's enough to charge it fully. It's progressing, and at some point the sun will rise and we'll get uh, we'll get things running again. It's weird that this power is no longer apparently working. Can I just stick it on one of these? Oh, that looks like it's working. Except now we're fully charged anyway, so we'll activate it again. And we'll get some more aluminium. Awesome. I don't know why it stays on the end there. Surely it should finish deploying into the uh, the output bit. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck on all these random rocks. Stupid rocks. I should get the, the build tool to sort those out. Just a quick mine, and that makes them drop, which I think will then make them despawn eventually. Let's do a bit of a uh, bit of spring cleaning. Clear the place up a bit. Oops. Okay. There's just there's just power everywhere, all over the place. Right. So now let's try making this into a printer. There's also a vehicle bay that uses aluminium, so we can do that as well. Right. Boop. And build. And we'll see what this allows us to make. Here we go. It's got no power, but we'll work on it. There's very little power capacity on this. Maybe, I guess it just takes less power to do its thing. So, how do I... Oh, dear. I... Oh, no! No, the power's blowing away! No! What have I done? Come back, power! Damn it. This, I should have expected this. I'm going to get in the pot. I don't trust myself to, to not get brained if I go in that cave. Yeah, so as it turns out, I was right about the whole thing of because the power blocks are lighter, they get blown away by the wind. So we need to make sure to connect these to, uh, to things when we're... when we leave them anywhere. With the rock, I guess the rocks are going to come from this direction, so we'll be nice and shielded despite the, uh, the open door. Oh, the, the tethers are shaking. Open it. Like, we'll get to see what happens if the rocks hit the, uh, the actual tethered things. We're actually going to be hit by rocks. I wonder if we're just skirting the edge of the storm. Or I guess the edge of the storm is skirting us. I don't know. That would make sense. We get a really long period of it being super windy, but we never actually get any rocks. Yeah, it looks like we actually missed the, uh, the rock part of it. We just had the everything blows away 
part of the storm instead. Oh dear, I need to store things better, it would seem. Pick that up. I should have grabbed more of it, but I, I panicked. Some of it's just in the sky now, because it's gone outside of, like, the loading range. I guess we'll go retrieve that later on. Oh, there's some more aluminium here. Should make sure to keep hold of this stuff. Someone has suggested I put things in a pit. It would seem like that is a good idea, as apparently putting it randomly on the ground is not a very good option. Okay, so this thing isn't giving us anything we can do. I assume that we would be able to scroll through options, but there aren't any. It's wanting something on the front of here, but I imagine that's just a power thing. I, mean, I guess we could do that. Maybe it doesn't let us do anything till the power is charged. That might make a bit of sense. Sun's got to be rising soon. Is that the sun over there? Probably. Maybe it's just like the... Yeah, it looks like it's getting brighter over there. Well, I'll try and get things running by... Oops. Sticking this here. Yeah, there we go, that's charging it. See what happens when it's charged. There we go, okay, so it needs to be charged to give us the options. So we can make a solar panel using two compound. A storage using two compound. A wind turbine using aluminium. Battery using lithium. Generator using copper. And a seat using compound. That looks like everything. So yeah, larger versions of all the power generation stuff we've got so far. Plus the ability to start working on rovery stuff. And also the storage will be very nice, though it takes compound, which we're a little bit short on. We could definitely do with more of it. I think we've definitely been dealt a bad hand in terms of how much compound is around on account of there being, like, none for miles. Was there some over there? I forget. I think we, like, half grabbed some. I think maybe it was just half grabbing some from over there. We should go back over there, though, because there's more power stuff. And we, uh, we lost a bit of the power that we had available. Seems to have gone somewhat astray. Let's see if we can grab some of this back. There we go, we'll just plonk it all on and it can just help power the base until we can build the uh, the fancier stuff. I still want to do a bit more base expansion. I've got a load of resin just sort of sat around here, so let's extend this. Get a new node here. And then where do we want to expand this to? Just straight out, and then there'll be some sort of platform here. It'll slightly overlap this. I'm a bit worried about that. We might cause all sorts of glitches if we have two different things sat right next to each other. But I like having just like this big bank of uh, of terminals that we can uh, we can work from. That'd be cool. Maybe if I expand this some more and then build one out from there, we could even have them going in a ring around us, which is a bit of a weird way of doing it, but it helps us access all the different things at once from uh, roughly the same location. And we now have... I was going to say plenty of resin. That's not a huge amount, really. We can extend it by one more and then build a, a terminally thing. I don't know what to cut. A platform, I guess? Yeah, let's do... Actually, no. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do the plan I was saying. I'm going to extend this out some more this way first. And it won't leave us with enough to... Oh, that's, that's gone a bit high up. That's a bit awkward. Hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. The, the major height difference... But now what I can do is bring this out this way. It's going to drop down again, I guess. Sort of. There we go. Oh, that's dropped down too far. The, the, it's weird how it works out the height of the ground here. It seems to overcompensate a little bit when it changes uh, exactly what height it is. So we don't have enough resin to finish what we're doing, but we'll stick one of them there. And there's loads of resin around everywhere, so we can just grab loads of it to do loads of base expanding. Uh... What do we have on us? We've got loads of aluminium, so we can make a vehicle bay. I guess that will be our next thing. For the moment, I'm going to stick this all down on here. I've been told that as long as I don't put resin on these uh, on these uh, platforms, there won't be any weirdness. Nothing will suddenly pop into existence and cause all sorts of trouble. There we go. So yeah, we've got loads of space. Uh, that reminds me, what is it we make a wind vane out of? Aluminium. I think we're going to have some spare, maybe... We'll leave it for now. I'm a bit worried about using up all of any particular material we have. But I want to go over this way. Yeah, there's more resin, I think, over there to be grabbed. More power over here as well. We'll get the power on our way back because... Actually, oh, we need it for mining, don't we? Otherwise, we'll end up going really slow for half of the time we're working. There we go. Nearly three whole things of it. Maybe we'll manage to get the third on our way back. There's something over there. I saw a node of some description. Yeah, loads of resin here. This looks like multiple spawn points on top of each other. Maybe sometimes they're just a little bit bigger. So yeah, I'm glad we got all the power. Probably going to use up all of it. 
just digging this thing out. One thing that's a bit weird is it seems like we just use the power in our backpack before we start using the power in our... Like, the, the actual battery charge the backpack has. Which seems a bit of a weird way around, really, because you end up using up all your, like, one-time use resource with the uh, the power blobs, and then you've still got your rechargeable battery fully charged. It seems like it would make more sense to do it the other way around. But yeah, this is a lot of resin. This is stupid amounts of resin, and it's awesome. We'll never have any trouble again with uh, building our base. It once again demonstrates how, like, there's nothing but resin on this planet. I can't find anything else anywhere. Do we have any room left? Am I just dumping these on the ground now? Yes, I've started that. Well, I guess we can come back and retrieve them later. I don't think the, uh... The blobs disappear. I can't even see now because I'm so far down in this huge crater I've dug. Yeah, it looks like I've got everything. So if I just, uh... Scroll through... Oh, nothing uses anything that I actually have on me, so I can't do that, uh... That bit of clever cheating. We'll stick that... A bit, like, out in the open where we can see it. Oh, there's more wind coming. Oh crap! I'm really low on oxygen! When did that happen? Wait, no, I don't want to grab that. Just run, 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 run! Wasn't paying attention. I'm actually gonna die, aren't I? Well, damn it. I can't even craft some emergency, uh... I can't even craft the... Oh, I'm so close! Go, to, go for that one! Nearly there! Nearly... Yes, I got it! Whew, that was definitely close. Wow, okay, yes, um... I, I'm I'm t treating this air tank like it gives me infinite oxygen, and it most definitely does not. But we made it back. We're okay. But yeah, I didn't have any compound to actually make some like emergency filters, which um I it like I've been uh, like I guess backed up in my in my guess. I've been told that I was right and that it is a sort of like one-time use extra air supply for emergencies, which is a good idea. It makes a lot of sense. If you're down in a cave, loads of compound but no oxygen left, you can quickly. Just craft yourself some filters to stay alive a bit longer. But now we have a whole six resin, and there's one more back out there that we can, I guess we could go get, because there was a node of something that I missed. I mean, it could just be more resin, but more supplies is always good. I was about to start storing them on these, and then I remembered, yeah, don't do that. That would cause weird things. We'll go. Get, we'll find some compound, we'll build storage, and then we can make some big platforms to store all our materials on. And uh, start building up nice stockpiles of stuff so that we can spend a lot of time working on the uh, on the base rather than having to constantly run out and find more materials. I don't know how much you use, use resin for. I wonder if it's at all involved in making vehicles. I guess we'll find out. It looks like vehicles might be something we'll be working on very soon. As soon as we actually get some compound to build anything with. Uh, but with that, we'll hop back in here just to be safe in case a storm happens. Because you can't pause but like in this game. You, the game just keeps running, so I could just get killed by a storm between episodes if I'm not uh, careful. But with that, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.